Good morning. Today I'm going to be running a rather interesting experiment that a YouTube subscriber of mine, Uwe, suggested. He's actually the person that suggested my 30 size four stroke shootout. And this just so happens to be one of those engines that was in that shootout. This is my OS FS30 Surpass four stroke engine. And Uwe lives in Germany where uh, fuel, pre-mixed fuel with nitro in it is very hard to find or very expensive. So he mixes his own fuel quite often and he's made some videos showing how his OS engines run on it. So I figured as an experiment I would do the same thing. Now what I've got in my tank here is I just went to Home Depot and bought a quart a metal container of clean strip denatured alcohol. Now on the front it says clean burning fuel. It's for stoves, camping stoves and that type of thing. And then I also have some castor oil, some Klotz racing castor oil. So what I did was I simply just mixed six ounces of denatured alcohol to like 1.6 ounces of castor fuel or castor oil to give me about a 20% oil content. And that's all that's in this container here. So this engine is set, pre-tuned and run. Last time it was run was during that 30 size four stroke shootout. So it should be set up to run. So it should be interesting to see how this engine responds to this fuel. So let's give it a shot. Wow, well, I don't know about you, but I found that incredibly interesting. I really had my reservations there at first that it was even going to run, and to be honest with you, I have no idea why it took so long to get started. That's probably not going to hit the video that I published, because I don't think it's really that interesting to see me sit there and try and get this thing started with the electric starter. But, suffice it to say, I did eventually get it started, obviously, but it took a lot. I mean, I must have primed that thing six or seven times pull the glow plug out, shot fuel directly into the chamber, and it really didn't even fire off until I was sitting at about half throttle. And a couple times it fired off and then I hit this throttle the wrong way and closed it and it died and I was like, oh god, am I ever going to get it to go again? Well, eventually I did. And I was tweaking the needle setting. Unfortunately, I had this exhaust angled down a little bit too much so I really couldn't get in there. So I had to do this kind of deal with the needle valve. And you know, two finger adjusting is really not a very precise way to do it, so I'd overdo it sometimes, and one time I did it too much and it, it leaned out and shut down. But it looked like this thing would turn this 10-6 prop, and it felt happy on the bench, not in the air obviously, on the bench at 88.50. I think this turning attack actually registered a peak of 9,000. 
but that was just a quick peek, I'm sure. But I had it running sustained at 8850 RPM, and I had it idling down to 2000 RPM comfortably. Uh, so the funny thing is that in a pinch, if all hell goes, if the world goes all to hell, we quit making nitromethane fuel, but we still have denatured alcohol and clots, you could actually still fly your planes on this stuff. Now, obviously, this is the first time I've ever done this. I have no idea what the long-term effects on engine wear or corrosion would be, because, to quite honestly, I'm not sure if that denatured alcohol has any water in it at all. I really couldn't find it. The MSDS sheet says there's a percentage of unknown or undisclosed stuff, which could be water. I don't know. Uh, obviously, that wouldn't be good, but we did prove here that this will run, at least this engine. Now I'm kind of excited. I want to go find another engine. So anyway, I've got some fuel left, so I want to try and run another engine with it. So my battery is dying. i got to cut this short and quit talking. Thank you for watching. This is my 46 SF, I believe, or a 40, I think it's a 46 SF, I can't really see it. My own engine, used engine, runs well. Same 10.6 prop that I just had on my OSFS 30 surpass engine, same spinner, same home brew fuel, which is clean strip denatured alcohol, clean burning fuel, it says on the can, with a mixture of just clots, being all caster to equate to about 20% oil content. This thing started up much faster. I used the electric starter because I didn't feel like trying to figure out if it was going to run or not by flipping it. I probably could have though. The thing started up really well and it ran extremely well and hell it even idled pretty good. It's still kind of early here so that's why I didn't do too long of a run. I really just wanted to prove out that even a two-stroke engine will run on this fuel and it actually ran quite nice. Uh, again, don't know what the long-term consequences of using this type of fuel in an engine would be because it's the first time I've ever done it, but hey, the experiment is a success. Uh, if you don't have access to you know, methanol from a racing car shop or anything like that, you can always just go to Home Depot or Lowe's, buy a quart of that denatured alcohol. It says clean burning stove fuel or clean burning fuel on it. Mix some caster, go to the field and fly. Thank you for watching.